guys. I'm sure you can see it's the same day as what it was in my last video. Only we got a little bit of rain. And on top of the rain, the mailman also came and he brought me my headlight tint. So in the meantime, I tinted my headlights. So let me know what you guys think. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, now we're going to head on over to my friend Mitchell's house. Um, he was the guy who was my getaway driver for the big dirt bike prank. He's working on a uh, Escalade right now that's got a ton of horsepower. Extremely fast. Possibly going to be one of the fastest Escalades on the planet. Uh, for sure in the United States. So we're going to head on over there and check it out. Okay guys, so we made it. Um, I just want to mention before we go in there that Mitchell is starting a channel and it'll be following the, the build that he's doing along with uh, some other builds. Um, lots of racing, lots of good stuff. So you can find his, his channel in the link below or in my featured channel list. His channel is Stapleton42. So go give him a subscribe guys. Um, I'm sure you won't be disappointed. But before we go in, I also want to mention that truck right there was the truck we used for the um, getaway in the dirt bike prank, so that's a cool little fun fact. Got the mastermind himself working over here. Practicing welds, bud. You didn't see that. <laughs> well, anyway, this is the Escalade that you saw from the thumbnail in the title. That are got your winter beaters on there. I'd like, you don't to call even have them, I'd like to call them my winter beaters, but I drive everywhere on those wheels. Got a little bit of uh, burn poop on your car, bud. Wear it proudly. <laughs> oh my. So, uh, this is the supercharger that used to be in that car. Yes. Yeah. And it made how much horsepower with that one? About 750 at the crank. Okay. I never had it on a dyno. <laughs> That's more than my horse. That's more than my uh, freaking Camaro made. He even took my emblem off my Camaro for this truck. But, Looks uh, better on there than it did on your car. Thanks, bud. But uh, so this is the new setup that's in the Escalade, and this is making how much horsepower, or supposed to make how much? Um, could make up to two thousand. I won't do that all the time, though. Probably daily drive, not a thousand nine hundred. Good lord. So don't forget to subscribe to him, guys. The link's gonna be in the channel for uh, his channel, and it's also gonna be in my feature. And his channel's gonna be Stapleton42, just like his Instagram, so don't forget to check that out, by the way. Um, if you were wondering what the interior was like on a 2,000 horsepower race uh, Escalade, it's all good till you uh, look for the back seats and they're not there, so we have a uh, Got a 6,000, how many pounds? 6,000 pound two seater. Yeah. <laughs> oh so, my. See the 10 point gauge in the car. Good plus. lord, guys. So, aside from the Escalade, when's uh, this one ever running again? Um, after I finished this one, it uh, hasn't really been on the road much in the past couple of years. Had problems with the big block Chevy engine that was in it. It wasn't very reliable. That's why I went to my local junkyard, bought that six liter LS motor. I'm gonna put that in here. Currently it has the custom fan motor in it. Oh yeah, right now, so. Uh, Eco-friendly, biodegradable. 
<laughs> it's also a good storage place for all the Escalades, race tires and wheels. That's nice. Really nice storage locker. Oh, that's great. It's a big car. But um, lots of these parts up here. These are from a Mustang. I'll throw in some clips at the end of the video of us taking a little rip around in that. <laughs> well, if you want to see more of this stuff and this build, that build, he'll be making more videos of it. So subscribe to his channel, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Call me a shooting star. Let's know you are flying up in a bar. Wish on a star. Time to show him who's in charge.